Using metal shears, she cuts out the shape. The artist peels off the plastic liner that has protected the copper, revealing the glossy, untarnished surface. She now places the copper above a bag full of small pellets and pounds it using the nylon mallet. This process gives the copper an aged, hammered texture. She gives some areas on the other side the same treatment. The hammering also bowls out the profile of the piece. Using a marker, the artist draws a line about a third of an inch in from the edge. She marks dots onto this newly defined border, spacing them evenly apart. She then punches holes through all the dots using a lever-operated drill press. She cuts out the space between the holes, and this process creates separate tabs for each hole. The artisan now bends back the tabs following the marked line. The application of a clear powder coat prevents tarnishing. After a few hours, the palm strands are now sufficiently softened. She retrieves the strands from the hot water soak and sets them aside. The artist returns to the copper centerpiece and begins to weave, starting with rattan reeds that have also soaked to make them more pliable. She pulls the reeds through the tabs and intercrosses them so that they fan out in two directions. She then braids cotton string against the centerpiece. This creates a neat and sturdy border all the way around. She alternates rows of palm and rattan fibers. The different textures add visual interest to the basketry sculpture. It will take two months to complete this work. When the basketry work is done, the artist takes the piece outside and airbrushes them with acrylic paint. She sometimes relies on a metal template to more evenly define the paint border. It's the finishing touch to the basketry sculpture. And now it's up to the public to understand the story that the artist has woven.